Hasidic marriages are arranged marriages. Myth. And here's the actual process. Common misconception. Matchmakers decide who should marry who. The matchmakers are just the ones proposing suggestions on matches they think might work, based on the personal characteristics of the boy and girl they gather, as well as the surrounding families. The parents of both the boy and girl will start to gather information about the other party. Hasidic Jews put a strong emphasis on vetting the other party before they get into a relationship, and eventually marry. This way they could know beforehand what type of relationships they are getting into, and don't rely solely on looks, since that might sometimes be deceiving. Parents will typically get tens of different suggestions, and most are turned down. The parents will ask around friends, neighbors, co-workers, and even former teachers, and if after all the intel they gathered, they feel that this is what their child might need, they'll represent the match to their child. Next, a date between the boy and girl is arranged, they will chat, and see if they throw off on one another. Some might be ready after one date, and some might need two, three, or even more dates. It is totally okay for one party to say no and walk away. If the boy and girl both agree, they will proceed to engagement.